term, the art of the possible, comes up a lot when I'm talking to both clients and service firms alike about emerging technologies and innovation. To start off with, the art of the possible, while potentially overused, I think is a really important concept because it involves getting key stakeholders outside of their day-to-day -day work into a new environment where they're able to envision and think outside of the box of everything that could be possible and really understanding some new technologies that they may not be familiar with. However, just like design thinking is an important exercise where we really see value when it comes to design doing. And so while the art of the possible is great for discovery and ideation, what's most important is being able to use that to get down a learning curve as quickly as possible and up a doing curve to move from ideation to production as quickly as possible once you've identified what are some of the use cases that make sense for your company and your customers. What I see from services firms where it's done well is that the art of the possible or those style workshops are used to catalyze at the beginning of an engagement, but never as a standalone. That they're deeply integrated with rapid prototyping, rap rapid development sessions, so that clients not only learn how to think differently and how to embrace new technologies, but also to identify real use cases and put it into production quickly. So taking those ideas, using innovation management, and agile development methodologies to go quickly from the ideation to start building and testing and understanding what ideas will work uh, and testing those with clients and seeing if they're actually so solving true client needs and use cases and adding value. So where the audit of the possible really works well when it comes to emerging technologies and innovation is when it's integrated with deeply defined and experimented with methodologies to go from that ideation into production.